This is an instructional video on the preparation of a five-strand hamstring autograph for ACL reconstruction, presented by the Department of Orthopedics at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. First, the hamstrings are harvested via the surgeon's preferred technique. One end of each hamstring has already been whip-stitched in this video, and they are secured to the graft prep board. We utilize an Arthrex number two fiber loop suture for this. The overall length of the graft has been measured and it has been determined that the semitendinosus is long enough for tripling into three strands with a final construct length of nine centimeters. Care is taken to precisely measure and mark these intervals as they will affect individual strand tensioning. And now the areas of whip stitching are being marked out. 2 centimeters upstream and 1.5 centimeters downstream from the third most distal fold, and then 2 centimeters upstream from the second mid substance fold. Again, care is taken to precisely measure these areas. Next, the gracilis, which is to be doubled, is marked at the plan fold. The area of whip stitching is also marked. Here we have both hamstring grafts marked out at their respective folds and over the areas of whip stitching. First the gracilis is whip stitched at the free end. After the whip stitch is complete, excess graft can be trimmed. Next the semitendinosus is whip stitched at its mid substance fold. We whip stitch 2 cm upstream from the second fold, ending just above the fold to allow for some graft creep. Finally the free end of the semitendinosus is whip stitched. We whip stitch starting two centimeters upstream and finish one and a half centimeters downstream from the third fold. The additional one and a half centimeters of whip stitching allows for this fiber loop to be secured to itself at the end. Now both graphs are prepped, having been measured, marked, and whip stitched. On the graph prep board, we use an Arthrex ACL tightrope RT. We will be passing our graph through its cinching loop. First, the semitendinosus is passed through the loop to the first fold. The first two strands are tensioned and secured to the graft prep board via the fiber loops. Then, the semitendinosus is passed through the loop a second time to the third fold. This third strand is also tensioned. The needle of the fiber loop on this end can be left uncut or reloaded for securing of the third strand. The free ends of the fiber loop are secured back to itself upstream before the third fold at a position that adequately tensions the third strand. Note that the needle is not being passed through the graft, but through the loop of the suture. The suture is then tied and cut. Finally, the gracilis is added to this construct, passed through the cinching loop, folded and secured. There we have a five strand construct. The graft is tensioned, the individual ends are measured, which may differ in size. Now the five strand hamstring autograph for ACL reconstruction is ready to be passed and covered until use.